Hey guys, welcome to Sketch Day Live. <clears throat> it is Thursday, August 20 something, I don't know, 27th. Um, a bit of a, a somber time. Um, heavy day yesterday. I was just catching up on the news, a lot going on. Um, I'll keep it vague and loosely so, but yeah, some heavy thoughts for sure. Um, tragic things happening all over. I hope you're finding your peace and happiness where you can. Hug your loved ones, all of that good stuff, because life is short. <coughs> um, and I don't mean to be all negative or it's negative sounding, just uh, present, thoughtful, and aware. And I hope, um, hope you guys are as well. Love you all. Thank you for joining. Okay, I got a request from one of my patrons. Uh, Lori was asking about a roller skate. So I'm going to focus on that today. And if we have time, <coughs> pardon me, we'll do some other stuff. I wonder if I have the Rona. I don't think so. I've just been coughing a lot lately. No fever though. No fever. So I'm just going to pay attention. I don't feel sick, so don't worry. I don't feel sick. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to switch over here on the YouTube and do some quick warms. I'll keep it quick today. I'll just do one side here, straight lines. I'm using a paper made flare as always. If you are curious about materials and whatever, um, let's see, you can use this link. Great way to support the channel as well. <clears throat> Because what happens is when you get your materials through Amazon, I get a little gift card and then I can get more materials. <laughs> Things like marker paper, pens, all this stuff that I've acquired over the years on my own account. So it's a good way to support, but of course being here is the best support. Special thanks, as always, to the patrons. Hello, Lori. Glad you could make it. <clears throat> it's gonna be really important to warm up on my lips is today because we're gonna do a roller skate. It's almost like a combination of the things that you guys ask for a lot. You ask for shoes and you ask for vehicles. So it's kind of like a, a shoe vehicle. Hello Svetlana and Art. Welcome Latrice as always. Latrice, you're like one of the most solid people. Always here even if you can't hang the whole time. Like it means a lot dude. So thank you. Blessings to you too as well. Stay safe. Uh, man, what a time. So much going on. We just had a hurricane. I hope uh, if anyone is affected by that, that you're doing okay. We've had wildfires here in the United States, I should say. I know there's a lot going on in the world in general, so I don't mean to <clears throat> ignore all of that by any means. And... I hope you understand. This is not my intention, but yeah, I hope uh, hope everyone's staying safe. It's interesting because I so I, I do hang out on social media a lot, just by nature of my job and what I do personally here, teaching, consulting, all of that. And there's a common refrain that the news media hypes up everything. At the same time, I try to aggregate my news sources from multiple points of view, and it would seem to me that it's not purely hype. Like, there is a lot going on in the world in general, so I can feel it. <clears throat> I can feel it for sure. All right. So, Lori, I'm not sure how much you want me to break this down if you just want me to focus on uh, marker stuff. You guys seem to like the breakdowns though, so all right, let's let's do that. All right, so here's our little little platform. Okay, roller skates look something like this. It's been a while since I roller skated. I know there's a break. I'm trying to just go from memory here. There's a break in the front, and then we've got wheels here, wheels here, right? Something like that to maybe start. I'm just gonna do a strap. To keep it keep it simple scribble in some laces here and then you know we can have some some design stuff on the 
the side, maybe some overlays, panels, whatever. Okay. As far as colors go, just let me know. It's one of the perks of being a patron. I do take suggestions, requests. We took a good request from uh, Tom the other day. Another solid patron, Tom. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be like my warm-up for the day because... <laughs> I have a full day ahead of me. Um, Adobe Max, where I'm presenting this year, is all virtual, so I have to do like three hours of recording today, and then edit it all, and publish it, get it reviewed, approved. It's going to be a busy day. So anyhow, so maybe this is the, <clears throat> the front of our skate here. I'm just trying to do a rough sketch. Oh, thank you. Thank you, UP. UP Up. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but thank you for the contribution. Much love to you. All right, so maybe we got something like this. You know, if we want to do a toe down, we could probably do that as well. <clears throat> got our strap here. So once again, if you're watching on Instagram, I cannot watch both chats, so I'm not ignoring you per se, but it's just really hard to watch both at the same time. So if, if you want to watch, that's cool. If you want to comment and get me to see what you're saying, watch on YouTube. All right, maybe these are our wheels here. Just some nice rough <clears throat> sketch to start. Pete says your sketches are very helpful for young designers. Thank you, thank you. I do advanced stuff too, but it takes longer. Um, typically I'll do stuff like that in a workshop format where I have, you know, two, three, four, five, six hours to, to kind of hang out. All right, so what I'm doing here is just translating this view into perspective as much as I can. Well, I know I'm going to run out of space. I just know I'm going to run out of space already because I'm used to just drawing the sole of a shoe and then kind of coming up. We can create a wireframe here. Just get our angles in. All right. So I know I'm going to run out of space. So I'm going to redo this one. I already can tell. All right. Maybe let's start with I've I've only sketched roller skates once ever, um, and it certainly wasn't for a client. My kids love, no, I love roller skates. They love roller blades. Um, but yeah, it wasn't for a client or anything <clears throat> when I did these, it was just for fun. All right, so we'll start with something like this and then kind of come down like so up all right we can correct this as needed so i'm going to start with this and then now on the side here if i draw some squares all right i'm going to drop these down just a little bit right there right through there draw some squares divide these up then i can draw my ellipses okay for my wheels right there center line if it's helpful. Um, I do want to reference my sketch here a little bit. All right, I kind of had a little overlay here and another overlay here. So I'm just going to rough those in to start. I also had a strap of some sort. And I don't know, maybe this is Velcro or something. Someone just rang my doorbell, but I'm not expecting any deliveries, so I'm not gonna answer it. Anyhow, it was a very forceful knock too. Very, very forceful knock. So hopefully it's not an emergency, but I suspect if it's an emergency, they will knock again. All right, yeah, I'm running out of space for my break. So I'm gonna have to get a bigger piece of paper for the final overlay here. Let's rough in some laces. Ooh, 
when in doubt, rough it out. Like my sticker here says. That's what we're doing. We're roughing out our sketch. I do want the laces to kind of cross at the center line here, so. All right. I mean, if we want to do tied ladies, laces, we can do that. I'll figure out this thing in a bit. All right, so maybe we'll start with something like this. And then what I want to do, I'm going to switch my markers because through the center of the base here, I'm starting to think about where the wheels actually connect. Okay. Here's our wheels. Move in a little bit, we'll offset. Like so. Yeah, this is like drawing a car, but not. <laughs> Maybe I'll have the metal come up a little bit on the shoe. Could be kind of cool. All right, so maybe something like that. Nice and rough to start. Series on digital art using the Wacom. Okay, all right, Latrice, I got you. Is there like a specific topic of digital art? Like paintings, is it um, product design? What are you thinking? Thank you, Heat. Kilo Crow says, not much going on in the UK. Felix, what's up? Nicholas, Andrea, good to see you here. Uh, Antibus, hello, hello. Um, and thank you. Thank you for the well wishes. When I say a lot's going on, so if you haven't read the news, there was another uh, police shooting in the United States, and there was also, or not was, there are ongoing protests and outrage happening and regardless of uh, regardless of which side you might find yourself on if, you know someone's life was taken and it's particularly or not life was taken but life altered um, but it's particularly for me hard when I see that it's um, I'm gonna use a big piece of paper today when I see that it's a father, you know, someone with kids, it's just hard. It's hard to see that. Right, let's see. Yeah, this will work. Um, it's hard to see that and not feel something, at least for me. So that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Okay, so I've got some marker paper here. This is actually old marker paper that I used to use in college, believe it or not. Kind of crazy. All right. So at this point, I'm just overlaying my sketch. Again, not, not tracing, just overlaying. And when I do that, I try to um, redraw. Okay. And that just means instead of moving very slowly, I am trying to sketch quickly. I'm trying to sketch quickly and keep the life in the sketch, okay? place here and I will apply marker to this I assume that's what you wanted Lori 
You're the art director here today, so... If you guys like fashion, check out Lori's page. I gotta find the URL. Maybe I'll share it next time. Um, her Instagram account, I should say. Or maybe just post your handle, Lori, if you want people to check it out. Because I don't think you can share a link on the stream. You know, for security reasons. Changing the design here a little bit. But yeah, feel free to uh, feel free to share that. your handle same goes for the rest of you guys if you want to share what you're up to that's fine um, you just can't share a URL I know that much but I don't mind you uh, sharing your handle just got to keep it keep it clean keep it civil All right, let's keep going here. Lots of color, Lori says. Okay, lots of color it is. Um, someone's asking, where did I go to college? I went to Brigham Young University in Utah. That's where I went. In a past life. <laughs> Lacing up shoes in a sketch is always, always kind of hard. So I like straps because they do make it a little easier. So maybe something like that. Um, I got rid of the the laces here. Hmm. Do I want to add them back? Do I want to add them? Maybe I'll have them just here off to the side, or at least hint at it. These are all-star brand skates or something. I don't know. And based on the proportions, definitely some sort of kid model. <laughs> Yeah, I say this at the risk of sounding old, but 2020 has been the craziest year of my life. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. But it's been absolutely nuts. All right, so just kind of cleaning up here on my line work. You can do this with the same pen if you're very careful, or you could grab another pen. That's a little thicker and do that. Big Chungus, hello, is asking, how do you draw like me? Well, you uh, you just have to, should we do an 80s style background? I think I will. Um, 
You just have to practice. You know, I was a math major in college. Um, some of you know that already. Some of you might not, but I, I had to teach, not really teach myself, but figure out ways to have drawing make sense for myself. So my methods are such that um, it's really just a representation of how I learned and how I think about things. So practice every day, keep your eyes open. Those connections will happen visually, mentally, cognitively speaking. And uh, yeah, I think I'll do some sort of 80s background <laughs> on these. I kind of want to just stretch them a little bit, but I'll keep them, keep them looking like kid skates. Just mapping out a little shadow here. Just roughing it out. So that's gonna help ground this whole thing. All right, so let's get coloring. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to mention, this is Sketch A Day Live. <laughs> I'm Spencer. Um, welcome. And I hope you enjoy. And if you don't enjoy, that's okay too. But make sure you subscribe. So you can have a terrible time next time as well. So Big Chungus, I have a playlist on my channel. Um, I think it's called Basics. And you can, and there's even a perspective drawing. Um, channel or not channel but playlist so you can check that out um, I just shared the link in the YouTube chat um, there's let's see yeah basic tips there's 51 videos in there with some basics it's not it's not really structured like oops <laughs> I copied the text it's not structured like a class or anything um, But it has some good information there if you're getting started, okay? All right, so let's go. Start coloring here. Lori wanted lots of color. So we'll start with some purple. Whenever I'm using markers, I like to outline the area first. I just find it helpful. Maybe it's just a holdover from being a kid. You know when you use, when you use crayons and you kind of color in with the crayons. So I'd always do the border on my crayons first before I did anything else. <clears throat> That's what I would do anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and do the laces. Maybe this star. All right, we decided on lots of color, so I'm gonna be putting lots of color on these skates. Hopefully it doesn't look like a complete train wreck. Maybe just a small train wreck. Thank you, Jeremy. It's very kind of you to say. I'm trying to stay positive. Uh, it feels harder <laughs> these days, but yeah, just trying to stay positive. So with the marker, um, I'm trying to pay attention to a couple things as I do this. So you want to work light till you get it right. I am making some more stickers actually, and that's gonna be one of them. So light till you get it right. Pay attention to the angle 
of the tip of your marker. Super important. Because the angle of the tip of the marker is going to determine how broad or narrow that stroke is. Do you remember Fisher Price roller skates you could strap to your shoes? No, I don't remember those. I never had those. I grew up in Jamaica, so a lot of things I had are similar, but in a lot of ways different as well. So I don't always get all the like nostalgic cultural things. Like I, I totally missed out on 80s movies. I've never seen, you know, Breakfast Club or any of that stuff. I think I watched Goonies once, maybe. Um, yeah, a lot of that stuff I, I missed out on. So just by nature of where I grew up and different influences and whatnot. All right, so let's go with yellow. I'm 38, Lori. Well, not 38 yet, but I will be in November. I'm a Scorpio. For what that's worth. Not that I believe being born on a certain day predicts my behavior tendencies and so forth, but it's fun nonetheless. All right, so we got some yellow here. I'm trying to decide if I want to do pink wheels or purple wheels. Um, I'm going to make the base here chrome, though. Just have some chrome, chrome parts in here. Cab says, whenever Spencer says something about sketching, they think, this dude is creepily relatable. <laughs> well, I'm glad I could creep you out a little bit. I'm trying to decide what color to make the wheels. Maybe you guys can tell me. Should I make them like teal or blue or something? Oh, teal would be fun. Lori did want crazy colors, so... I'm going to go with... Go with some crazy colors. So Antibus um, liked the chrome demo, or not chrome, but uh, refle reflectivity demo I did the other day. I haven't edited it yet. I have some recording to do today, like I mentioned. So I have to uh, have to get that done, and then perhaps. I'll have a little bit more time. I'll just make the tongue of the shoe gray. I think, yeah. Just keep that simple. Can't go too crazy. These remind me of some old Adidas shoes I had when I was married. So when I just got married, I used to love, like, I know I wear black most of the time now. Like your stereotypical design person. Um, mostly for simplicity. I, I just don't like having to think about what color I'm going to wear today or whenever. Um, but yeah, I used to have some very colorful Adidas shoes. And when I just got married, I was so like insecure and just weird um, that my ex at the time was like... You have to get rid of those. So I was like, okay, I'll get rid of them. And I did. And I regret it to this day. Because I love those shoes. They were so me. So the moral of the story today, the moral of my poor choice, <laughs> is be yourself always. Don't compromise on being yourself. No time for being fake. Don't be weird like I was.
Yeah, I have I have colorful shoes now. I have a few Yeezys as well. Oh, it's for, well, is that Svetlana's? Oh yeah, it is Svetlana because you're not using the other account. You're a Scorpio as well. So we got 15, 14, 17. Oh, we got some young people here. Older people as well. Uh, let's see, did I get a wheel color? Uh, I didn't get a wheel color, so I'm gonna go with teal. Teal wheel. So these are cylinders. So as I'm shading these, I'm trying to think of uh, you know, shadow cores where light might go. If I want to leave some spots white, for example, like here, because light's going to hit the inside of the wheel. Since that's teal, I want to tie the teal into the top somehow. So maybe the sock liner could be teal. Just a little bit of this, this lining here. Just to pull the color in, make it feel harmonious. Oh, I'll end, I'll end my political note. I didn't even really get, I didn't get political and I try to avoid it. Um, but get out and vote this year. No matter what you, what side you find yourself on, if you're in America, anyways, go vote. That's all I'll say. This is actually the first year I get to vote. I just became a citizen last year. So I'm pretty excited. I'm actually more excited about my local politics than I am national. Um... So, yeah, I'm excited to participate in the civil process. It's going to be fun. All right. And maybe we'll make the little stopper pink. Disco 8s. So, again, thinking of this as a cylinder, I'm leaving a white spot here. You know, white spot there, 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 because there's probably light coming into the scene. So I need to pay attention to where the light's coming in. Okay. If you have multiple lights. And then... That tells me where I need to put my shadows. I'll finish this sketch off with some pencil as well, just to help it feel a bit balanced. I do have videos on lighting and how to shade and all of that as well. Now, I did promise you... <clears throat> Kilo Crow says, good luck, America. <laughs> I know. Um, Karthik, any pastel art? When you say pastel, do you mean like you just using pastel just for some stuff here and there, or like fully in pastel? I guess I, I guess I could. I haven't used pastel since like high school, probably. <laughs> but I could, I could figure it out. I could figure it out. So here, um, normally, I think last time I used the airbrush to, to get the chrome look or whatever, um, I'm just going to use a very pale blue marker or a very pale, like, cool gray. And that should give me just enough. Let me test my color here. Okay, that's too, too intense. So I just need a nice pale blue or bluish gray. So give me just a sec because I am terribly unorganized today. Terrible. I mean, I could use this cool gray one, but it's not really going to show up. I swear half my markers disappeared and I don't know where they went. Maybe my kids took them. I'll blame them for now. All right, so I'm gonna have to just use a pencil. So let me grab my pencil here. And so what I'm talking about is here on the Chrome, I just wanna add 
just a little bit of tone right in there. Okay, it's very subtle. This paper has a really nice texture to it as well. So that's awesome. If you have something in shadow, like this wheel, you could use a gray. So I'm just using a, a gray over the color. It's gonna mute the color a bit, which is totally fine. And keep some of the base hue in place. And if you need to touch that up, you can just use the same teal marker as well. Something like that. And then let's see. Um, just your normal 2B, 4B pencil to now using Copic's charcoal. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, I could, I could do something more artsy instead of design sketching. Design sketching is kind of my bread and butter. That's like what I love to do, but I'll take on a challenge. I won't say no to that. Throw some stitches in and I'll get back on task here. So I was really just focusing on the bottom section. I wanted to get that done. Okay, so something like that. And then I got the, the BFM ready, the big fat marker ready to go. I'm gonna set this off to the side. And for the background, um, I have an idea for like a, I'm trying to decide if I want to do like a circle or just some lines for an 80s background or we could do a grid or something like that. But um, in the meantime, <laughs> as I think about the background, let me just add some more tone to this, this pink in the front. like that um, oh yeah that's what I was gonna do so I was trying to make these wheels a little have more contrast so once the inks dry you can kind of hit especially if you're using marker paper hit that spot again and it'll get just a little darker okay but if you also have the companion marker to this one. This is a Bianio marker and it says B714. I've, I've been kind of figuring out the number codes on these markers as I've been working. So if I find a B716 or 718, it should be a little darker. But like I said, half my markers kind of disappeared. So <laughs> I'm not quite sure where they went or they just got mixed up with some other ones. Not quite sure. So I'm gonna have to improvise. So I do need it to be a little darker. Or I might be confusing my marker sets as well. Also, totally possible. All right, Laurie, yeah, just hit me up on uh, Discord or Patreon and I'll figure it out. I appreciate that. Lori is acquiring the sketch. She's throwing down. I know Luke's picked up a few in the past. Um, I've also had Jordan pick, pick, pick up some sketches in the past as well. Also Patrons. You don't have to be a Patreon, Patron, but you guys are pretty cool. All 
All right. Since Lori's picking it up, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and uh, make this even better. <laughs> All right. Just focus on some of these details. Clean it up. I don't like to spend tons of time on sketches usually, but Lori's pretty awesome. She's been a great support and fan. So I'll put in a put in a little little extra. I did glimpse a question on Instagram about curved lines. It um, depends on the line, but something like this where it's a little bit of a small tight space. I'll use my wrist to draw, but any sort of control you're going to gain over your tools is going to be dependent on how much you practice. So just keep practicing, keep working. <laughs> Looks like something out of Steven's universe. All right. Just keep practicing and it'll, it'll come into focus for you, for sure. All right. So another thing I like to do sometimes, if the paper's right, or I just want to kind of add some, some tone, is just turn your pencil flat, and then you can kind of shade to get your shadow core in if you need that. Just a little bit of, of tone. It works even better if you have like a, a marker in the same, or sorry, a pencil in the same color family, but as I do not, or I didn't even check, but just figured I'd use the pencil, kind of clean it up. Oh yeah, and Svetlana and Art have picked up some pieces as well. Didn't mean to forget about you guys. This is a Pitt uh, brush pen, by the way. Pitt artist pen. Um, all of these pens you can find on my site. I'll pin the comment. I commented earlier, but I forgot to pin it. Um, so I'm going to pin this to the YouTube chat. So if you have any questions about materials, that's where you'll want to go. It even has information on like cameras. So if you want to get into streaming yourself, I know Tom was asking about that. Um, I kind of say what cameras I use. All of that's in there. So if you're curious, if you got questions, that's where you go. Sketchday.com slash stuff. All right, I think I'm having too much fun with this. <laughs> so this will probably be my only sketch today because I have to record all that video in the next three hours or so. Gonna be, it's gonna be intense. But Adobe Max is free this year, so if you're curious about Adobe Fresco, I think I'm gonna be doing like um, stuff from nature and like landscape uh, painting, showing some tricks and tips that I like to use when I'm doing that. All right, now that I've neglected doing the background for so long, um, I'm just gonna get a straight edge here. So here's a tip, a tip for you. If you are, this is gonna be, let's see, can I use, I'll use this edge. Um, if you're using marker, and you have like an old marker pad or um, tracing paper pad, save the back and I'll show you why. Because you can actually use this as a straight edge. Actually, maybe I'll do diagonal. That would be cool. I could do diagonal. Um, save these because 
can use these as a straight edge with your marker. If you use a plastic straight edge or metal, what happens is the ink is going to go under the edge. And so when you move it, it's going to smear your paper. Okay. And you don't want that happening. So save those pieces and reuse them. Any digital tablet suggestions? Um, I actually had a phone call with someone last night who was asking me the same thing. And we decided on the iPad Air as a good mix of price to value and features. So you could, you could do something like that. My iPad Pro is like overkill for most people. Like it has LTE and um, 256 storage. I didn't, I didn't spring for the terabyte, so I'm not crazy. If you like Windows, I've heard good things about Surface. Um, there's also the Wacom Mobile Studio Pro. I don't know your budget, so you just have to figure that out for yourself. I'm just adding a few texture things here to the wheels, for example. Yeah, I've been drawing for about almost two decades now. I mean, since I graduated college, no, since I started college, that would be, yeah, almost two decades I've been drawing. So it takes time. My style's changed a ton. Um, if I sit and work on the same drawing, for like four hours, I can do some pretty awesome stuff. I just don't do that on the YouTube for obvious reasons. I just don't have four hours to sit here and do something. There are a lot of wicked talented people online though. So if you're looking for, and I've mentioned some of them before on the stream. So if you're looking for specific things or content or whatever, Instagram's a great place to go as well. If you're looking for other examples. Just hinting at some Velcro here. iPad Pro second gen. Oh, yes, yeah, that's, that's what I use. Um, Latrice, same thing. I just have a uh, LTE. Cav says, is the iPad genuinely useful for designers? I've made half a year's salary using my iPad, so your results may vary. The rest probably with my laptop. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to decide if I want to do the shadow. Um, and I want to test, test out this pink marker. I've got a little pink marker here. This is a high-tech roller skate. Vintage looking is so the style right now, as long as it has some good smooth wheels. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a cool vintage, vintage pink. I'm just trying to decide on the background. I don't want to mess it up for Lori. <laughs> now that I'm all nervous. So the BFM here. This marker smells so terrible, I swear. It's the worst, but it's a pleasure to use. So I try not to have it out too much. I like um, the streakiness of the stroke. Just has a nice expressive feel to it. <laughs> I 
All right, I think I'm ready for my background. This is one of the rare times you'll see me use a ruler <laughs> or a straight edge, by the way. So this might be a little hard to see here, but the ink is being absorbed into the edge of this straight edge. Did I use the right side? Yeah, I did, okay. So the ink's being absorbed. This reminds me of those old Taco Bell restaurants. And since the ink's being absorbed, I don't get like bleed on the marker. Which is handy. have a lead pencil but I kind of want to kind of want to map out a background here this is like the one time I would ever use a lead pencil and I don't have one so I'm just gonna go super light a line that no one can see but me so I know where to start and stop thank you Latrice it's very generous of you yeah I, I don't use the BFM very long <laughs> put the cap back on because it's it's too much it is too much all right I'll clean that guy up later so what I'm trying to do here is one of those like line background things you'd see in the 80s I'll fill this in after Increase the space here between these. And it's a little too big a step. Alright, something like that. And then also make these lines a little thinner. Just fill these in. All 
Fill these in nice and carefully. Maybe something like that. <laughs> Then I'm just gonna tweak. Uh, okay, just have to make sure I'm on the right side here. Just wanna clean these up just a little bit. So, using the bullet tip, which I again never really use. This is like venturing into marker rendering territory where you're like spending hours on a drawing. Exactly. Or Saved by the Bell. This reminds me of Saved by the Bell a little bit. Was that in the, that was in the 90s though. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That was a good good show. Good run. A Will. Will Smith. Will and Jada and their entanglement. <laughs> All right, I just want to add a little white outline here. I'm kind of torn between the Posca and these Molotow pens. The Posca seem to be not as opaque. So I'm a little torn. I like how opaque these are with like one, one stroke basically. All right, looks like the Instagram feed ended. And I've been streaming way too long. Way too long. Hold on just a sec, I just gotta upload this. Boom! I can edit it later. Oh goodness. <laughs> I'm glad you got in touch with your friend, Kilo Crow. So yeah, like I said, I don't usually, as you guys know, spend this much time on one sketch, but Lori decided to throw down. All right, let's see, where are we at? Okay, all right, I think I'm gonna wrap up here. I'm gonna wrap up here. So yeah, we've got our shadows, we got the background, we got our shoe. Um, I'll just give this just a quick, quick once over, just in case I missed anything. So yeah, Latrice, hit me up. Um, I guess send me a message. Let me know like if you're working on something and you just, or if you had specific questions about Wacom on uh, Photoshop, and I'll make sure I I get to that. Okay. I don't wanna I don't wanna leave you hanging. Balls in your court, so to speak.
All right, so I'm gonna sign this, sign off, say thank you <laughs> to all of you guys. Good hanging with you as well. All right, so that's what we did today. Again, when in doubt, rough it out. Um, I would change some stuff. I'd make it a little, you know, longer, but we'll just, I'll just accept that it's a boy's or girl's or human's shoe that happens to be a little bit smaller. Um, but when in doubt, rough it out. And I'll send you all these, Lori, as part of it too, um, these rough sketches, but um, roughing it out totally helps because then you can kind of plan and understand what's happening, translate that into 3D, <laughs> do another overlay if you have to, and then do your final sketch, all right? Um, and then I'll, I'll probably trim this paper just a little bit as well, so, all right. Thanks for joining, guys. It's been fun. I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow will probably be a little bit later than usual because I got to finish some stuff in the morning. Um, but I will be back for Friday. Um, I really, really want to make it into Fan Friday. So if you have something you want me to like redraw or if you have specific questions about anything, just come prepared with that. We'll chat and hang out, interact. Um, and I'm happy to to answer those questions. Love you guys. You're awesome. You're the best. Definitely subscribe if you want to become a patron. Um, hit up patreon.com slash sketchaday. And then you can always find me on Instagram, like I said. Join the Discord. Lots of ways to connect and interact with everyone. All right. Thank you. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace and love.